yesterday I posted this video about um, creating some sort of motorcycle game in Construct 3. Okay, so all you had to do is basically uh, build a track and you have a physics motorcycle game. Super easy. Okay, no need to no need to program or anything. So today I'm going to show you how to create a uh, physics vehicle in Construct 3. So let me open the example here. Now we can start from scratch, but there's no need. So let me just uh, show you what we got so far. We can make the track a lot bigger. Make the stage bigger. Man. Let me make this um, about 4,000 pixels wide. Now let's zoom out and you can see that it's, um, it's really big, but it's not that big for a uh, racing game. Hold, hold control and you can um, make more pieces. You can rotate them. Make a ramp, make two ramps, just to be funny. And this one here will be like this. So let's run this. There is our vehicle. You can uh, use the mouse to uh, to move it. Okay. Let me go to the uh, events and let's add a new event so we can um, scroll with the motorcycle. After, let me see if the time is greater than zero. Oops, I meant zero. So if that happens, we can um, scroll to object, select the object, you can select the body of the car. And uh, don't worry about the specifics, we're going to go into that right now. Try this again. There is our vehicle. It looks like the Batman vehicle. Has a big wheel in the back. At least the previous Batman. Not the one with uh, uh, Ben Netflix. Uh, so I have some sprites. You can uh, download them from the uh, description below. So let me just uh, replace the first sprite. Now I should have made a video about creating the sprites, but uh, they're not that amazing. So I don't think you need a tutorial for that. Now if you go here to image points, you can see that uh, the image point is over here. And let me show you what happens. See the wheel. So if you make it bigger, oops, hold shift. Constraint proportions. There is our uh, our car there, and wah wah wah, it's not working. So let me uh, double click on this again, and we're gonna go to the image point, and we're gonna center it. So I put this um. Uh, those dots in there to show you where the center is. You don't actually have to. You could re-import another uh, sprite without that um, dot in there. So let me try this again. You can see that uh, it's a bit better now. Debatably. Let me bring out the other one. Which is the same wheel. And uh, there it is, that's our point of origin and everything. There is the wheel. <laughs> now we're not moving, let's see. It is bigger. Okay. So let me uh, double click on this here. And we are going to bring in our motorcycle. Okay, we have two points of contact here. Let me just zoom out so you can see them. Now that could be a problem. This needs to be down here. So let me just move point one down here. Zoom in so you can see what's going on. So there is the um, there is the point. This is where we have to attach the wheel. And point number two. We have to attach the wheel here. There we go. Much better. Uh, let's fix the shape of the uh, the bike. Okay, try this again. And uh, let's uh, get the mic bike moving. Oops, it fell. Just this a little bit here. I think that's fine there now, so let me try this. And that seems to work not too bad. 
Except for the back wheel there. Let me just fix that. Still a bit funny there. And uh, I'll try to line this up. Okay, line up this one too. And see what we got. <laughs> now you can adjust it until it looks perfect uh, let me just create a track here delete that there now you can make crazy tracks like this right um, what you could do is uh, you could place a, um, a sensor on top of the um, our uh, character here and if that touches the ground then you can probably just restart the uh, the game or or is that a counter so the counter uh, goes up to high and then it restarts the uh, the level or maybe you can prompt text on the screen and it will say press any key to restart something like that so let me let me show you the events how this works okay it's only uh three events so all you have to do is uh, is attach the um the wheels to point one and point two super simple point one and point two so if you have more points you can attach more wheels now this here applies force to the um uh, to the motorcycle so you could change these for anything let me just copy this copy this event here copy and paste you could replace this for uh, something else example um, yeah insert another object uh, a keyboard object and you can replace this for something where the user presses a key. Uh, on key pressed, key is down. Uh, the key is going to be the right key. So that, uh, oops. <laughs> So uh, instead of the mouse, uh, now the force, instead of the X position of that is going to be the X position of our character, which uh, we can get right now. Let me just see the name of that sprite. It's called car body. Okay. Caps like sound for some reason. Car body. Car body that X and car body that Y. That Y. Try this now. Press the right key, and now we don't have to use the mouse. Now we can break. Okay, so we could probably do the same. Um, let me just copy this here and paste it. And if you press the uh, the left key, we can uh, apply the same force, but we're gonna go minus. Minus a hundred. So it's going to be the other way. Like this. And now we have brakes. And we can reverse. Okay. There we go. Donk. <laughs> So there you go guys, that's how you can create them. Um, so go ahead and create a crazy track for this motorcycle. Alright guys, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And like the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.